Well, American Dreamer, uh, on the surface, is uh, very much like a suspense thriller about a, a, a rideshare driver who is, has some really hard times financially and with his personal life. And, and in order to make a little extra money on the side, he starts to chauffeur around a low-level drug dealer. And he decides to make some really horrible decisions, and um, things go terribly wrong that night. Um, that's kind of the surface story. But underneath that is kind of this, um, this thematic, you know, it's almost like an abstract um, examination of kind of the inherent ills of the concept of white privilege, if you, if you will. So it's a, it's a multi-layered film, and uh, hopefully we were able to do ourselves proud. Um, my character's name is Maz. Um, at his core, he's just a, a really determined father who's trying to do whatever he can to provide for his family. Um, got into trouble when he was younger and this kind of had a lot of limited, I mean, very limited opportunities, and he's kind of resorted to drug dealing to, for the, the time being to try to get his family by, and uh, ends up in business with a, with a guy who is uh, supposedly gonna gonna be doing his bidding, and things kind of turn sideways on him quick. He was fantastic, first of all. I, he's, a, he's a professional, he is really great on screen, and it was a, truly a pleasure to just kind of share the space with him and really kind of build these characters out together. Um, you know, he is Jim, of course, and he is a comedian, so at times it could be a little challenging to uh, try to stay really close to your character <laughs> when you got Jim Gaffigan in the front seat being Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> Well, I, when, originally when I read the script, I just I saw a real opportunity to kind of to be a part of a, a film that could really spark some conversation about that that topic, and the characters were very they, they weren't two dimensional characters. You know, they could really traditionally you look at a film like this and you see possibly these stereotypical characters on the page, but the way the director uh, expressed his desire was for these characters to be fully flushed out and really have multi layers. So. I think when you watch the film, you really get to see kind of, uh, you know, it's it's a it's a bit of an exploration in a storyline, a linear storyline of kind of um, the the ill effects of things that are happening um, in our society today, based on kind of these these old these old concepts that are that are kind of stifling some of the um, marginalized communities in our country. Sure, um, character's name is Fade. Um, and he is kind of a past love interest flame, uh, excuse the term, because she, these people have fire coming out of their bodies <laughs> <laughs> of, uh, of Starfire, the character of Starfire. And uh, he's kind of a blast from the past, and he's trying to get her to come back home to their home country to take her crown. And, uh, you know, kind of by any means necessary, she's not really willing and he needs to kind of persuade her to come back. It seems like he's a bad guy, but uh, he has good intentions. I mean, there's a lot of things that they're able to create with the computers, um, and there's a lot of kind of looking at things that aren't there and walking into things that don't exist. Um, so that was fun, but it's not all green screen. There's a lot of locations we use and a lot of great things. So, you know, they have different apparatuses and things that we were using. So, yeah, it was yeah. fun. I would just say it's going to be a really exciting season. There's a lot of new characters, and there's, uh, there's a lot of, whoa, <laughs> there's a lot of new characters and a, a lot of, crazy plot to us this year so i'll just say buckle up